Welcome back, my friends. If you have not been keeping an eye on the sun over the last day and a half, you are missing out. We just posted a video last evening about the action taking place off the surface of the sun. These very dense sunspots are producing a massive amount of CMEs. Nearly an X-Class flare just took place. And we highlighted a few of these yesterday in the video, and believe it or not, one of them has completely gone crazy. It is launching multiple CMEs at Earth on top of what we discussed last night. In that video, we even said by the time this video posts, chances are this particular sunspot will probably be going nuts, and sure enough, it absolutely is. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about here, we're looking at our GOES X-ray flux chart, and basically right here is where we began the video last night. We were talking about two of the CMEs that came off the sun on the 14th, and you can see both of those peaking right in this area. Most of the 15th was fairly quiet, and then all of a sudden, about halfway through the day yesterday, we started getting a bunch of different explosions off the sun. Each one of these peaks is a different release. Some of them from different spots on the sun but then overnight last night as you can see right here as we move from the 15th to the 16th we had a mid-grade m-class solar flare that was the last one we were able to post on last night and then i warned you all to keep an eye on those sunspots because chances are they're going to get a little crazy and that's exactly what happened throughout the night last night we had multiple cme releases as you can see here one two and three and then just a little while ago a near x-class solar flare that is absolutely massive of course we have had large larger solar flares than that but the point is is each one of these is basically combining in on itself and we're going to be getting hit with this energy with a lot of them basically pancaking on top of one another so it's just as effective on the earth to have a bunch of mid-grade solar flares hitting around the same time as it is to have one large solar flare and that's what seems to be happening right now all right we're going to take a look at the current core 2 combo video this is a negative version and this is the normal version so basically these are going to play side by side take a look at this so you're going to see this first cme explosion right there we were able to to cover that one yesterday and one more came out from the bottom of the sun you're going to see here in just a moment that one right there and then ever since that we posted the video we've had multiple there's the x-class flare right there or near x-class flare i should say and another explosion that left the sun just recently. Now here is the C3 combo. This is a little bit farther away, but you're gonna see some weird anomalies in this towards the end. I'm gonna break some of them down here, but here we go. Here's that first explosion we covered yesterday. You can see right there. You're gonna see the next explosion come out this way right here. There it is. And then we're gonna see another one come out the bottom. That is the brand new near X-class solar flare we're dealing with right now on top of yet another explosion right there. So a lot of action coming off the sun. This is actually pretty interesting being that a lot of it's coming from one single sunspot that is still earth facing right now taking a look at helio viewer right now you can see each of these sunspots is named and labeled now what doesn't make sense is that this sunspot where all the action is coming from let's zoom in a little bit here where all the action is coming from is right here just above this coronal hole stream now if i were to take the earth and place it directly in line with the sun that is where the earth is right there so this coronal hole stream right here we've talked about what these are please check my past videos for definitions and explanations but not only do we have have this coronal hole that is launching solar wind from it but we also have this active sunspot down here that is not yet labeled which is clearly erupting on multiple strong occasions so all this energy is being launched at earth at the same exact time and will impact earth at the same exact time now once again i'm going to leave the links for the videos from yesterday and the day before leading up to this event right now that we're currently in now i want you to take a look at the core three again really quick we're going to point out a few interesting anomalies now these could be nothing but they also could be something it's pretty wild so we're gonna go ahead and hit play there and you're gonna see that explosion come off the sun and then we're gonna see some glitchy frames here and that's what's interesting about this all right and here is that first one and i can't help but notice it almost looks like some sort of entity with its arms out holding another person now again i understand a lot of these shapes and stuff like that can be a total coincidence but it's just very interesting stuff like this always sticks out to me for those of you that have followed the channel you know this very well but that is just a very interesting snapshot and what's even crazier is that it kind of skips frames while it's in this area it skips about two hours of data before leveling out again and then right after that we get this crazy snapshot or signature right here of what looks like an object bending down in front of the satellite camera and then off frame we do see it pop up here very quickly so again these two images are one frame behind each other so you'll see something pop up here and then the immediate negative image pops up in this area and they play as a video so you can watch them both at the same time and there we go right there i was able to catch it on the original video here you could see it's an object that kind of 
kind of swings down or could be coming up in this direction. But because each of these images is taken every couple minutes, we basically get a blur, almost as if the shutter was still open on the camera. And then we get it immediately on the negative film over here. So a very interesting anomaly being caught during these CMEs and something I could not help but point out to all of you. Throughout the day today, I will continue to bring the data about the sun. I can almost guarantee that this situation is not over yet. We may be expecting an X-class solar flare. We almost hit it in the last few hours and it seems like this sunspot in particular is showing no signs of stopping. Now this is just one situation. What we really have to worry about is once this energy reaches Earth in about one and a half to two days, we're going to start seeing the effects of this and I can almost guarantee aside from the electrical effects or internet, cell phone, those types of things, we're going to see seismic activity. And that is always a very important element when it comes to the energy coming off the sun. Again, I can't stress enough, please go watch my previous videos that explain exactly how this stuff happens and leave your questions and comments below. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I couldn't be more grateful enough. We just hit the 50,000 subscriber mark. I'm going to have a video put out for that specifically. It's honestly something I never thought would happen with this channel and I could not have done it without all of you. An incredible subscriber base. It has been an honor making videos for you guys and I have no plans of stopping anytime soon. All right, everybody, shout out to Canada. I will see you all later on this afternoon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.